Gentlemen, welcome back to the ice planet of Hoth and the great out of doors in my very own empire of dirt. Here we have the tailgater. It's a generator, what you get from the hazard fart. $1.99 on sale, comes with a hefty bag and a flashlight to get yourself out of it. We're going to test the veracity of the claims on yonder spec sheet as well as see if it can get through an entire, one entire tank of fuel without burning <laughs> into an inferno. Unseasonably warm here in the Empire of Dirt, uh, no doubt due to the 1.5 parts per million additional carbon dioxide, which we atmosphere last year, mia culpa, mia culpa, mia maxima culpa, and so forth. However, I will say as a charter member of the coal-fired radio transmission tower Stokers Union, being as how this is a two-smoke angina, and it's brand spanking. It's just been sitting out in the yard, bought it, just because it's so cheap, you can't afford not to buy it. One of those deals. You kind of like buying a used truck. You know, I like to get kissed before I get fucked. In this case, we're going to dry her off, or bring her up to temperature before we fire it up. Never mind the smoke. Got the fuel and bar oil for the gas axe here. Synthetic, mind. I don't know where the bar oil goes in here. We'll finger it out. Ah, ain't that dumb. I know it doesn't take any bar oil. Uh, some of you may be concerned with the color of the fuel. I assure you it is the finest tax-free purple gas available mixed with the blue synthetic Husqvarna go juice makes that odd color but uh, I assure you perfect start run hmm well it must be the choke okay Tug, tug, I tug. Oh, it's gonna be one of those cases. Uh, once you're past the stink, you got her licked. Come on, Schwartz. Holy. Aha! A clue! Fuel! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh! Once you pass the piss and sweat, she's good eating! On the nameplate was 6.5 amps continuous. Oh, she's working hard now. A little bit, a little bit too high. We might need to change the electrodes. Not to worry, that's why Don Cherry invented HPHT. Can't get it much below eight. Okay, let's see if we can stall her out. And then we'll uh, readjust the oh, 10, 9. Oh, working hard now. Probably well below Hertz. Wonder what the Hertz is. I think this has it on there. Forty two hertz. So bad. Forty hertz. Ten apps. That's all she'll put up. That generator is saturated. Okay, give her a bit of a hot supper there. Let's change the electrodes, get her down to rated. 
snake farm. Still a little overrated, so we'll go ahead and put an electrode on that negative side as well, or the neutral side. We're flashing over and we're getting a hunt. I gotta put the electrode a little further in. Those little arcs and spits don't have the appearance of pure electricity. I assume because we're developing HHO, hydrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, gas, occasionally it sputters and spits, especially you get it up to the surface. Or that might just be the water ionizing. It's quite hard to say. We very likely should have this in a well ventilated area. He says in his enclosed shop next to the wood fire. Almost nine amps at 55 Hertz, which would be plenty good enough to run almost everything but an electronic coffee maker. Those seem seem to be quite persnickety. Old school ones with just a heating element, they don't care, but anytime you get electronics involved, they don't seem to like noisy sources. Okay, let's change the electrodes and try and get that down to its more rated 6.5. Now we've got uh, thoriated or maybe lanthanated tungsten electrodes, real small ones. What for jewelers welding? Snake farm. Really, really tough to get it below eight amps. Been groping fruitlessly in the dark for the past 15 minutes. Story of my wife's life. And I haven't found any graphite. I'm looking for some graphite electrodes. Just because I think that's the next thing. However, I gotta go steal some from, I mean, I gotta go off site store some from another location. So it occurred to me that if we cannot reduce the surface area and kind of reduce the conductivity of the electrode, why not reduce the conductivity of the electrolyte? That is the fluid. So we had a fully saturated solution in the red bucket. Now we got about a quarter saturated solution in the blue bucket. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I'm no gynecologist, but I'll take a poke. I'm gonna point out to you now in a very self-congratulatory manner, the resolution this has, the granularity. You can get right in there within a quarter of an amp. Now, to stimulate reality, as is your wife's want, we're going to uh, have her plug in the tub thumping, window cracking, tooth rattling, Hair curler. Curl your hair all right. Now I've been about a beer, beer and a half, depending on if you're on your first or your seventh. The amperage creeping up there. So what I did, I took out some, I don't need to remind you fellas that this is dangerous. You can fall, trip, put your head in there and drown. <laughs> Electricity and water, you don't want to be fucking around too, too. Now, I took some of the water out and put in fresh water to reduce the conductivity, but it's creeping up again. So I was wondering if there's some residual salt crystals undissolved in the bottom, somehow get in there, so forth, as it hots up, yada yada. Nay, I do believe the very nature of the electrons passing through the water are creating ions, maybe some acid, some H positive ions in there, increasing the conductivity, increasing the amperage, cyclic until the thing boils. So not entirely without hazard, that and the fact that we're creating hydrogen gas. 
they were creeping up there. I even added some additional fresh water, nine amps. So we'll be running probably 50 hertz, something like that. You can hear a little engine that could bogging down. You know what this tailgate party needs? It's in a silly scope. There's the alternating current, vaguely sinusoidal, actually quite sinusoidal. We've seen a lot worse, especially on those digital output machines. I'll run a Honda 2200 and you'll see that's a digital out. You'll see how chopped up that is. Kind of just averages out to a perfect sinusoid, but you can see there's some chunks of hysteresis in there. Some little lips. All kinds of weird shit going on. And then if we were to do some switching, you would see that jumping all over the place, which I think we did when we had some bubbling. Let me just show you what that bubbling looks like. So this is what kills electronics here, is these high voltage spikes. It seems to be quite happy running at 5 amps. 6.5 the waveform gets progressively worse and we drop below that plus minus 10% of the 60 hertz. So as we saw there at uh, 9 amps she drops right down to 40 hertz. It appears as though she's getting broke in. There's very little sag there, very little droop in the governor. Very little droop in the hertz and we're running 9 amps. The full, full 25% overrated. And if we have a look at the Hertz, still well within that plus minus 10% of 60. Uh, I just blew the circuit breaker. It's not exactly whisper quiet. The oscope, or rather the, it's just the alarm. Oh, 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 Well, that's fantastic. No spikes or nothing. Well, this son of a diddling piece of junk doesn't work nearly the way I thought it did. I, <laughs> for a hundred doll hairs, I thought we'd have nothing but troubles. I'm surprised that it even started off, quite frankly, but there you have it. A hundred doll hairs. And mind you, that's proper greenbacks, not those Kanucky Stan Kopecks. However, partner, I think that's almost a, a sore dick deal. We'll have to run this a little more. Then we'll look at the inwards and see. It's got to be chock-a-block. How can it not be chock-a-block, right full of dumping tariffs and the tears of... Aborted female fetuses. Son of a diddling thing. How do you compete with that? A hundred doll hair, two stroke generator. What won't set your hacienda on fire? I just don't get it, man. This, this, <laughs> there's got to be something wrong with it. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a voice. Some about a wood fire, partner. Good for what ails you.